the one thing they need to know about me is that I'm the founder and CEO of Rowdy Orbit. We are an online platform that features TV quality content that's specifically for African American and Hispanic online viewing audiences. And we are the anti traditional media label of what urban and every negative stereotype that's out there for people of color. And the reason why I'm in this business uh, of Rowdy Orbit uh, online video specifically for uh, African-Americans and Hispanics uh, because they got tired of not seeing me properly represented by traditional media. Um, you know, the reason I think there's a, a, a blackout or a whiteout in traditional media as far as black programming, um, you know, I, I, I don't know. You know, I, I really, I just don't know. Um, you know, I just don't know. Because it's not like these, you know, these types of programmings don't sell. And it's not like these types of programs don't make money. Um, I don't know. It's frustrating. And that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. Um, because it's frustrating. It seems like, one, you know, around the census report, black and brown get high. Post census report, we're back to being less than 50%. Um, and so we've seen this in the 80s. We've seen this in the 90s. Now we're seeing it again, and it seems like every couple of, every decade and a half or a decade and two years or 10 to 12 years, you know, we get out, we get our moment where there's a renaissance, you know, but there's no follow through in a renaissance. And it seems like that renaissance is always cut short in a post data in a post census era. Your thesis is dead on uh, because your thesis is de definitely addressing what a lot of people are saying right now as far as where is black media uh, and traditional and, and TV programming. Um, and how that is filling that void is that it's take it's allowing these, in, these seasoned independent creators to tell these great culturally relevant stories that are targeted to African Americans, Hispanics, or whoever it may be. But they're telling, instead of just focusing on the urban lifestyle, they're focusing on the other aspects of who we are. And they're focusing on the creative side. They're focusing on, you know, the people who might like to cure. Um, so instead of saying, okay, here's your piece of the pie and this is what your pie looks like, they're completely filling a void by showing the, the, the dimensions, the, the, the deep dimensions and relaying that back to a storyline of what uh, uh, of an African of African Americans and Hispanics, and we're also the net is also filling that void because it's it's bringing balance, um, where you have images of with the Real Housewives and all these reality series where you have a lot of these women who are portraying women of color in a negative light, but on a grander scale. Because they have the money and the budgets, you see all that. But on a net, you see a completely different aspect of African American women or Black women in general across the board. Like the, you know, you don't see the sister girl. You see the thought provoking, you thought provoking mother, thought provoking lady. Um, you see a high level intellect, a high level of, of just being intelligence. Um, so it's a completely different dynamics of what you would see on traditional media and it's bringing that balance. So when people look at people of color, we're not just X, we're A, B, we're A through Z. And that's how we're definitely filling that void. Doing a web series is not like doing television and doing a, a 30 second or 60 second TV ad is not like doing a web series. And you just have to understand there's a different way to tell a story because say if you do six episodes, each episode has to stand on its own. But when you combine them all together, it strengthens the storyline because you never know when people are coming in to watch your episode. If they come in an episode five and it sucks, they're not going to watch your series. So each episode has to stand on its own and it's got to be that good because you got you got less than three seconds. If you have less, if they don't come back, you know, you got less than three seconds. If they're gone within three seconds, they're not coming back. People really need to come if they want to see diversity 
and African Americans and Hispanics, rather than just seeing us the quote unquote urban way. Um, people need to look at us more of like a playlist that's specifically for people of color, um, where you will find shows and storylines that are not typically attached to people of color in general. So if you're into the more IFC Sundance type programming, or you're just intellectually curious, or you're just tired of seeing the same old, same old, you definitely need to come to Rowdy Orb to see what these independent creators are out there, what they're doing um, and how they're doing it um, and what stories are being told that defy traditional media, specifically defy African-American and Hispanic traditional media.